So, in case you're new here, my name is Linda Arnold. I'm a mostly self-taught potter who has a mild hot tea addiction. I am on a quest, as a potter, to either find or make the perfect teapot and then fill it with the perfect tea for the occasion. Joining me on my quest is my voluntold son, Spencer. Hello, Spencer. How are you today? I'm doing okay. I have a jingle playing in my head right now for some reason. All right. So, Spencer, what can you tell me about this tea that we'll be having today? Well, today we're going to be drinking Uptown Imports Estate Assam tea. Now, I don't know very, I don't know a lot about this because I only have a small sample here. You can... All right, so we are drinking a new to us tea from Uptown Tea Imports, as Spencer said, called Sijuli Estate Assam. Uh, this is an black tea that originates in India. It is one teaspoon per six ounces, brew three to four minutes. So let's crack it open and see what we got. We got no smell. Yep, no smell for me. I'm getting a, a very little, very little Assam, Assam smell. Not this, much else. Wow, this is like really milled very finely. Yeah. Very finely. Yeah, I'm not expecting the plumpage to be that great. Uh, well, you wouldn't be able to tell because it's so finely milled. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Let's talk about my hatred of peaches for just a moment. So, if you're new to the channel, I release a daily video called Quick Sips with Linda. I have a subscription to the Adagio community in which they send you uh, numbered packets of loose leaf tea, uh, one to 30 or 31, depending on the days of the month. Uh, and each day you get to try a new tea. It does not tell you what the tea is, but it tells you what the tea has in it. It appears that someone at Adagio stole a truck and went to a peach farm and picked every single peach they could find and then drove that truck back to the adagio plant and said let's put peaches in everything because today's quick sip had peaches in it two days ago it had peaches in it the day before that it had peaches and then back on the seventh it had peaches and unless my numbering is wrong that's like a week's worth of peaches in your tea what you may not know is that I hate peaches. <laughs> Let me repeat that so that you're very clear. I hate peaches. There's a very good reason for this, and I won't get into the long, drawn-out story, but I have eaten my lifetime fill of peaches in my life. It's not I a good reason. I eat anymore. Hey Siri, stop timer. Have you thought that maybe peaches are in season? Well, I know peaches are in season. I'm not an idiot. Well, maybe that's why they're in so much, because they're in I season know. right now. Blackberries are out of season, so they're expensive and hard to find. They are that. Um, I guess the tea leaves have plumped up. They were very ground, very finely milled, so, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. Um... Uh, I will say I put too much water, so mine is a very pale color. Yeah. This is a very um, stout-looking tea just from here. Um, it's it has a gorgeous color to it. Um, it's that it's it's the yum yum color. 
<laughs> Please don't show me. I can't do the Heine lick over the video. Nope. Uh, it wasn't. It didn't start the down process, but oh god, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so the tea has a very lovely color to it. Um, that that golden, that red, that yum 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 yum. All right, uh, I'm gonna chug this real quick because this doesn't have a lot of flavors, so I can get so I can get to the good stuff down here. Oh, all right. Um, the smell just smells stout. Um, you know, it it smells like a stout tea. Um, and you know, not that that's bad, but it, it's not overly identifying or anything. The chugging is not indicative of the good, of the tea being good or not. It just didn't really have much of a taste because it's watered down. <laughs> not of the good stuff. This is a little bit more bitter than I was expecting. Um, that's interesting. I mean, it has a nice flavor. It's got a nice maltiness on the back end that your Assams have. Um, but it's a little bit more bitter than, than I would expect. And it has a three to four minute brew time and we didn't over brew. Um, so I, I don't know, but I am going to make it the Linda way. The Linda way, the Linda way. Oh my gosh, there she goes again. It's the Linda way. Okay, now that I'm at the um, uh, the grounds, it's actually not too bad, but it doesn't is really it, taste a lot like anything. Is it bitter for you? Just a little. But it's only a, it's only a fleeting aftertaste. Okay, so <laughs> this... This tea, now that I have added some half and half and some sugar to it, it's taken that bitter to where it's it's palatable at this point. Um, it's it's a nice cup of tea. I'm enjoying it quite frequently. Quite frequently, I'm enjoying it. It's got that nice maltiness to it that I like in the Assams. It's nice and stout. Uh, you know, it's it's a good stand up and slap you in the face tea. Um, I mean, if you want to get your morning kick started, this will do it. Yep, I'm enjoying that tremendously. Um, what do you think, Spence? It's a good tea, but the bitterness at the end just overpowers it personally. I think it's too much. Well, that's why you may have to put a little bit of, of sugar into it. I do not think I could drink this tea naked. Um, it's a little bit too bitter for me that way, but adding a little bit of sugar and some half and half to it, I, I really enjoy it that way. I absolutely, I, um, should have been prepared. I wasn't prepared. Ow. Uh, I'm going to give it a big thumbs up and... Put it in the good bin. What do you think, Spence? I give it sideways. Sideways. Yeah. It's not bad. I just want to drink it a lot. Um, I put it in the good box because it's it's inherently good, but I do feel like I would have to add something to it to make it better. Well, I mean, that's exactly what I've done. You know, adding something to it to make it more palatable is the reason that it's going in the good box. If I was unable to add anything to it and I had to drink it naked, I would probably give it a sideways thumb as well and probably stick it in the limbo box because I just, I don't know if I could without anything. The bitterness is just a little bit on the overwhelming side. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks for coming by and having a couple with us this afternoon. We really appreciate your time. Uh, we hope you have a great rest of your day, and we look forward to seeing you later. Thanks. Hey there, did you enjoy our content today? <laughs> we really hope so. If you did, think about subscribing. We'd appreciate that a lot. Bye.